And so you've applied to colleges, you've chosen a college. What advice would you have to people who are just starting out the college application process? Well, I would definitely say that you should apply broadly because originally I was planning on going to New York for school. And so I applied to, I think, five schools in New York. Um, But in the end, it's like you should definitely have some schools nearby because that ended up being what I chose. And if I hadn't applied to UCLA or UC Santa Barbara, then I would have been out of luck. All right. Just get it done. <laughs> so I, don't procrastinate. Yeah, definitely don't. Like I w- like just went I just went through it so quick. Like I just wanted to get it done. And so I had like a lot of time to like I guess like get my drafts done or whatever so I was able to get things done really quickly not stress out about it and focus on other things so I think it's important just to get your stuff done I think take your time and really explore the colleges that you're into um, and that you're interested in um, and kind of seek out what they have and what you what they might be able to offer you and um, I guess don't get pressured into making a decision that you don't want to and kind of go with what you feel passionate about or a college that you feel passionate about based on what they are going to give you? Um, I think my biggest piece of advice is when you're applying, you should apply to, um, well, I don't know, they're not called safeties. What are they called? Likelies, I guess, um, that you actually like because if you don't end up getting into any of the harder schools that you want to go to, it's going to suck if you like don't actually like the schools that you did get into. So make sure when you're applying and when you're making your college list, it's really broad and you actually like all of the schools that you're applying to. I'd say like just maybe start your essays as soon as possible because like no matter what, you're going to go through revisions of it. And that's like one thing that I learned like kind of starting, I'm not later, but I guess just the, the later you start your essays, the harder it is for you to sort of refine your essays and make them like what you want. And that's something I realized like just going through the process, like, from applying, like, early to, like, regular decision, like, the way my essays, like, they change, like, a, quite a bit just during that, like, two month or whatever span. So I'd say start your essays as early as possible. And so also, would you have any advice for anyone who's just starting high school or just in high school in general? Um, I think definitely get involved in the community. Like, country has a lot of opportunities to be involved, whether that be, like, in student council or sports, or um, octagon, or like music, or arts, or anything. Like there are so many chances to like be a part of something bigger than just like getting your good grades in class. Like you can be on any sports team you want. Like I was a captain for two years with on the volleyball team with my sister, and like that was so much fun. And like I love volleyball and everything like that. And like it's just like it's another place where I can feel the community. Like, I have my community within Country Day, and then I have my community within, like, sports and, like, Octagon and everything like that. Um, enjoy your time here, because Country Day is a unique place, and um, the people that you meet here, I feel like I'm going to know them for the rest of my life. So just cherish that, I guess. Mm -hmm. Make use of all the opportunities you're given, and don't be afraid to try something new. Um, Yeah. Yeah, I think just don't take things too seriously. And I also don't think that freshmen immediately need to start thinking about college. Like it was really just, it got a little bit busy senior year and that was kind of it. And I was like, well, what was all the buildup for? So freshmen do not need to start stressing out about college, but I think that's it's kind of impossible too for our generation. <laughs> um, My biggest advice for a country day student is probably try to get involved as much as you can because... The school has such, like, open policies for anything like sports. There's pretty much no cut, and you can join pretty much um, any club or elective. Or I did yearbook and student council, so things like that really make your experience more fun, Um, especially at a small school. Like, it can seem kind of limiting, but there's actually a lot that you can do. Um, So I just think it's important that you kind of take as many opportunities as you can. I'd say, like, um, what is it? Be active. Like, you know, join clubs or sports anything you can basically and just like enjoy it because like obviously like great like keep your grades up and stuff like that but just try to have fun Mm -hmm. yeah